Hello and welcome to a week in my life. I figured why not? Uh, it is March 10th. Daylight savings time has made us all spring forward, which is stupid and I still don't understand why this is a thing. But I am currently at my partner's house because he's not here. So that means I get to watch my heart dog all week. This is my baby girl. Her name is Eileen. She's a border collie. She's my sweet baby. Aren't you my sweet baby girl? Yes, you are. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi to everybody, baby girl? It's a good girl. But she stays here with him um, because he has a yard and I do not. <laughs> and she is a active breed, so she needs to be able to run around and I live in a row house, so. This is my dog, but she is my bestest girl. Yeah. But in addition to, you know, dog sitting my own dog. Uh, today is the last day that this little guy stays with us. His name is Tucker. He is my partner's uh, landlord's dog. Um, his landlord is currently in the Cayman Islands buying a condo. So there's that wealth disparity for you. But I am about ready to go to my house um, to go feed Moxie and make sure she's good. Uh, and then I will come back here. Uh, it'll be a lot of back and forth between houses to make sure I can take care of all the animals, which can be, you know, super duper fun. You can see behind me here that I have things set up. This is how I normally do on the weekends is I bring my light box over and then I bring boxes and inventory that I'm gonna list. I have some hard goods here that I need to list. And then of course, a ton of books, which hopefully I will make a video about books. But yeah, this is what I'm hoping to get listed today is these three boxes. That would be great. But again, I got to go to my house first. So I'm going to go do that real quick and I will be back. Um, so we have a bird in the house and I have to figure out how to get it before the dogs do. Ah! Got it. Flew all over the house. I'm gonna let it out now. Thankfully I got it before that did, or the cat. Gone home, I've taken a shower. I packed up all of my orders from this weekend and now if I get any tonight, oh well, they'll go out tomorrow at some point. Went and did some grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. Of course I took care of Miss Moxie and now I'm gonna go back to the boys' house and spend the rest of the evening listing stuff and hopefully get some reading done too. But yeah, that's, that's gonna be my evening. Make dinner, list stuff, hopefully get some reading done and hang out with the pups. Well, it is uh, now Monday, so the 11th. As far as listing goes, I have this, all this box is done. These two items are done. I've only got half of this box left and then everything in this box needs to be cleaned and those duck um, grass things need to be cleaned. These need to be cleaned. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to list the drafts that I currently have. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon here on Monday. So I'm gonna do the 10 drafts that I have ready to go. And then I'm going to take my stuff to the post office that I packed yesterday and then go to my house, take care of the couple of items that sold overnight. It's just two books, no big deal. And take care of Miss Moxie, make sure she's good to go. Take some photographs of some clothing uh, and make those drafts before I leave. <laughs> this is what it's like. Would I get a lot more work done if I only lived in one house? Yes, but... I don't, I live in two houses because <laughs> the boy and I live separately. And then of course I've told you guys I'm watching the dog. So that is uh, one of the challenges that I have to deal with every week. It is just a little bit uh, more pressing this week. Uh, so I think that's what the plan's gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and get those drafts done and I will see you back at my house. See, I'm feeding her. She's okay. I'm sure she misses me, but she'll be all right. I do need to clean your food mat, don't I, baby girl? Let you eat, I'm sorry. Hi, it is uh, Wednesday, my dudes. I'm not gonna scream. <laughs> it is Wednesday. 
Uh, the 13th uh, yesterday kind of got away from me because uh, Miss Ma'am here, hi baby, had uh, an accident overnight, a very large accident overnight. And so I spent a lot of yesterday cleaning and then I had, then I filmed and edited and put out two videos and it was beautiful. So we went on a super long walk and yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so pasty, I'm reflective. Oh, this is Mr. Louie, I miss him. Um, now I'm gonna make myself upset. Uh, so what we're gonna do today is I have brought uh, the two quilts that I recently purchased at the bins during my bins videos uh, in order to fix them and photograph them. So I'm going to take the current quilt off the bed in the spare room in the boys' house. I'm still at the boys' house, by the way. And I will show you how I, how I do that. Okay, so I have removed the blanket that was on here. I know it looks like there's still a blanket on here. There is, but this is just the under layer. And it's a it's a one color, so it's fine. Uh, wanted to show you this. So if you're like, how did you do two videos yesterday? I only saw one. Uh, that is because I have a book channel. Because I like books. And this is my bookcase that my partner gave me. And it is full of my books. That, that row is double stacked. And then here's some more up top. So I guess if you're interested in books and want to listen to my thoughts about them and or watch some book hauls, it'll be linked down below and maybe I'll be good and put it in up here. But let me go get the blankets out of the vehicle and I will show you how I do this. So this of course has already been washed. Uh, if you do linens from the bins, uh, I please wash them in hot water <laughs> and soap before you put them anywhere else in your house. <laughs> um, so this is the double wedding ring quilt. So I'm gonna spread it out. I do think this is a double size. I think I'm gonna be proven right here. <laughs> this is a double size bed. Which will work out perfectly. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's a double size quilt. Awesome. All right, so one, I'm checking to make sure what bed it fits. Normally I would be doing measurements, but because I have a double bed available to me to check this, that makes it easier. And then what I'm gonna do, <laughs> this is very tedious. If you are not into tedium, uh, doing quilts is probably not for you, or it could be for you. You could just not do this part. I do it because I like to, well, I also, it's, it's easier to sell something that doesn't have flaws versus something that does have flaws. So I'm gonna go through, yeah, let me, let me give you a better angle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and pull, just lightly pull on every single one of these connections to make sure they're connected. Because that's what happens normally with this quilt set people donate is either that they are stained which this one is not I don't really buy severely stained quilts or that some of the piecing has come undone so I have to find what piecing has come undone and there we go we have one right there you can see it's just a little bit but you can see right there can you see it there we go it's a little bit undone so that's what I'm trying to find is all of the all of the piecing that's come undone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a needle and white thread and I'm going to do a ladder stitch. Hopefully I will put a graphic of what a ladder stitch up here is. And I will ladder stitch all the connections back together. And that's what I'm gonna do for this whole quilt. <laughs> but to me, it's worth it because if I didn't buy this, it would have ended up in the landfill. See, here's, here's the easier one to find. So it seems like, yeah, so it seems like anywhere where I see this fabric, there's probably going to be, um, I'm gonna have to do work. And that's what you'll find when you get into these quilts is that what it is is that there's gonna be one, one fabric that was maybe just a lighter weight fabric and didn't, didn't stay together well because it doesn't look like the, this quilter did any interfacing. 
before making this quilt. And I'm talking about quilt turns that you don't understand. Hopefully I also put terms up here, but... <laughs> so um, I'll double check this because this is the third one I've seen that needs it. So that one here needs it. This one here needs it. So I will double check these ones for sure. And then this light teal one has one as well. So, so far it looks like I just need to check all of the blue and teal ones. The, this green seems to be in good shape. You can see here actually where the previous owner already tried to fix it. So that's what that is. That is a whip stitch. That is not a ladder stitch. So someone did a quick fix there. So I will go through this whole thing. And to me, it's worth it because this beautiful quilt that someone spent a lot of time making because this is not easy will not go into the landfill and I'll get, you know, 60 to $80 for it. And I paid $3 for this quilt. So worth it to me. I'm gonna wash this canister set and uh, yeah. Now I'm not gonna be able to put it. It still has tea in it. I don't even know how old this is. That's not what this looks like anymore. I think this is like from the 80s. <laughs> not the canister. Canister set is a Chromex mid-century set, but I think the T is from the 80s. That's wild. Well, this is some mood lighting, isn't it? All right, so uh, it is still Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> I've gone home, I've taken care of Moxie, I packed up orders and took them to the post office. I photographed like two things <laughs> and um, finishing up washing the stuff that is going to go on whatnot tomorrow. And I got back, I took the baby girl for a walk because since the boy is gone, we're getting more walks in. He doesn't really take her for walks. <laughs> unless uh, I'm here. So we've been getting lots more exercise, which is great. And I decided that since I had to clean up a bunch of stuff because Miss Ma'am had accidents that I would go ahead and fix the couch, which, you know, let me show you. So according to the boy, this is a couch. I don't think he bought this new. It was like from someone else and he's had it the entire time he's lived here for like six some years. And what I had to do is I had to fix the zipper on the cushions because the cushions come like these bottom cushions unzip. So I had to reattach the zipper on this one. I had to reattach the zipper on this one. And then you can see here from the indentation that this is where the pups like to sit to look out the window and <laughs> As such, there was a hole about this big here, and I have put on an iron-on patch. This is denim, and I stitched, I ironed it on, I stitched it on the inside, and then I did a zigzag stitch on the outside, so now we're good. And then I'm just going to throw her pillows over top of it, because really these pillows are just used by the, well, by the pup. There used to be more than one pup. I will at some point talk about that, but it's still too hard right now. But this is my pup and this was their favorite place to look out the window. I'm getting sad now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop and talk to you guys later. I am so stressed. I'm trying to do way too much today. So my car is now packed to go back. Okay, I'm back at my house. I left the boy's house. I'm back at my house. I'm packing up my car so I can do my whatnot at the boy's house because again, I have to stay with the dog. Um, Moxie is a cat, so she's very self-sufficient, which is also why I have a cat and didn't have a dog at my house because I'm too busy. And it makes a little bit of life fun. I've just filmed a video, my car's packed. I just need to get the last couple of things, feed Moxie for a second time because I came here earlier and I feed her twice a day. Uh, I'm stressed. I'm stressed because there's so much to do. The butt, I gotta take all my shipping to the post office and then get back home and set up for the whatnot. I have photographed so many items because I had to clear off the rack that I use for whatnot and get all the hangers for it. So after whatnot, I'll be listing so many things, which is great. Um, I'll show you my little pile uh, and then I will talk to you again when I'm back at the boys' house. So this is, this is all the stuff that's been photographed and measured 
and it's just sitting here in the inventory that I gotta bag it and then inventory it after I've listed everything. So yeah, nice thick, thick stack there. It is now Friday the 15th. Here is how I set up my whatnot last night. So only five items sold out of the 20, which, you know, considering I didn't pick any of this stuff out, this was all stuff given to me by Taylor, is fine, and it just means that I have a perfect 15 of items I need to get listed today, which is great. Uh, not to mention, that, you know, five items sold, so that just means this whole bag is now out of my vehicle and will hopefully by the end of the day go into my inventory. I did get one video out yesterday for the book channel. I need to edit the video, the What's Old video I filmed yesterday that I meant to edit last night, but you know, I always try to fit too much into a day and I wanted to spend a longer, I wanted to do a longer walk than normal, so it's on me. Oh, well, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna edit this morning. I'm gonna do the self similar like I normally do every morning. I do have lunch with my mom and I think that I'm just gonna allow myself after lunch with my mom to take a nap at my house in my bed because I've talked about before how I have a couple of disabilities. And so I have, thanks to my mom, it was like my housewarming gift, uh, my parents, uh, a very fancy bed. <laughs> it's like a nice Tempur-Pedic mattress with an adjustable base. And my body is missing it after a week of not sleeping on it. So I think I might go home and take a nap. That sounds amazing, but it also depends on how fast I'm able to get shipping done because I do have to ship all of the five items. So it's only three shipments. I have three shipments here and then I have eight shipments to pack from yesterday on eBay, which is great because honestly, sales this week have sucked despite me doing all the, all the stuff you're supposed to do. Sales have just sucked this week. So I don't know if it is the general negative outlook on the economy or if it is everybody's not shopping because they're outside but I've talked about before the reason why I sell books is because books don't have a season and a lot of people want books to go read on the beach so again I don't know it's just been slow it was slow last month it is not really changing this month this was probably like the best day yesterday all month so far so but yeah, let me go get to editing and get some coffee and I'll check back with you later. So I'm back at the boys' house. I had a lovely lunch with my mom. We did manage to get a walk in before it got dark and rainy outside, but because we've been doing so many walks, like, again, I don't live here normally. So um, we, got the, we got the bionic leg on here because my knee's been bothering me since we've been walking so much and then running when she sees a squirrel and or goose. So that's been fun. Um, this just makes it so my, it stabilizes my knee. So I'll have to wear this for a couple days until the, it stops hurting. <laughs> and then I can go back to not wearing it. It just means that I've been walking a lot and not walking with my, the bottom half of my leg facing the correct direction because I tore so many ligaments in that knee. So that's why but I'm going to empty out my drafts, get some listings up, and hopefully edit a video and put it up. We'll see how much I get done. I am very tired. I did get a nap in. It's only an hour and a half, and it actually made me feel more tired because my body's like, this is what we want. This is the bed we want. <laughs> you need to go to sleep in this, but I made myself wake up because I've got too much to do, so. Bubba girl, you been happy? We've been going for walks. Yeah? You wanna say hello to people? You just gonna do cute little head tilts? All right, I'll be back. It is now Sunday. Saturday completely got away from me. I started the morning by editing and posting a video, a book haul video for my book channel which had the haul that was for the book Whatnot show that I did this morning. And then I spent the next few hours playing Pokemon Go with my friend Brandon. So Brandon, if you're watching, thanks for hanging out with me. And then because the boy is on work travel, 
uh, the neighbors, his neighbors invited me over for dinner. So I had a lovely dinner with them. Al, Judy, if you're watching, thank you. And quite a bit of wine. And then I had to get up early this morning to go over to my house to do the book whatnot show. And then it's just, I've also taken the dog for a couple of walks because that's important. And I spent most of today uh, just listing, which is important. So it's been a very full week. I am very tired. <laughs> I still have one more week of this where there's, there's no boy and I'm basically living at his house and struggling to work at mine and his. I'm just, I'm tired. It may just be that, you know, I'm, I'm tired because I've been doing a lot of walking. I mean, when I went with Brandon to do Pokemon Go, I think I walked like seven miles that day. I'm averaging about five miles a day. <laughs> between like running around between the two houses, trying to get stuff listed, trying to make sure I don't forget anything. And then also walking the dog between a mile and a half to like two and a half miles every day. I, I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm ready for him to come back. It's going to be a whole nother week of this. I'm tired. This is also why I have a cat. <laughs> and why the dog lives with him. But, but yeah, it's been, it's been a week. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing how chaotic it can be. Of course, this is a outlier week, but it's still this full all the time. All the time. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye. Bye. Mm, pretty girl, huh? We go for a nice walk to the beach. Yeah. Hey, my baby girl.